Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another Madden 21 video for you today. Uh, I'm going to drop my top five offensive and defensive playbooks in Madden 21. There was a lot of changes, especially on the defensive side of things when it comes to these playbooks. Uh, so I'm going to give you my top five. So whenever you pick up this game, whether it's on the 25th, the 28th, uh, November, <laughs> you know what I mean? Whenever you pick it up, these are going to be the top five playbooks to use on offense and defense in Mutt or in Regs, whatever format, whatever game you play. Uh, these are going to be the top five. Before I start this video, though, do me a favor scroll down a little bit hit the like button for me help this channel out i'm doing my best to help you guys out so you know return the favor hook me up takes two seconds other than that if you like what you see make sure you stick around and hit the subscribe button uh, and let's go ahead and let's get started with this video and uh, i'll start off with the number five even though it's probably closer to like number one or two for me and that's the new orleans saints the new orleans saints uh is a playbook that's been in my top five for like the last five years uh and i just you know i have the most money plays out of them a lot of playbooks they don't have a diversity like this you got pistol plays shotgun plays single back plays you even have weak plays at the bottom uh which is you know I, I probably use the weak formation the least but it's nice to have that diversity it's nice to have that choice so here's a here's a formation right here i mean it's stack wide flex game's only been out for two days i already put out uh money plays from this formation so it's like i'm finding new stuff uh to go on top of a lot of the old stuff that i've been putting out for years that's really great my second favorite playbook is something kind of like that like i was saying it doesn't have a lot a lot of diversity uh you can see it has one pistol formation just so happens to be my favorite pistol formation so that's definitely a plus i mean you guys remember the verticals play from last year i hope definitely my most used play by me personally but then it has some amazing shotgun formations i mean ultimately you could stay in the split close and the the tight formation for most of the game because it has uh, one of the better of both of these i mean there's so many great passing plays that you can make i mean i know that when i personally use the bucks i'm in the tight for most of the game uh also the wing stack is going to be one of my more favorites once again Again, I already put out some plays from this formation as well this year. And then it has a pretty strong single back formation, which I don't think it had last year. I think they added a lot of that. Uh, but ultimately, like I said, once again, we have the wing slot, the wing stack. These are some of my more favorite formations right now. The wing tight, um, you know, these are the type of things that I'm using. Uh, not the wing tight, my bad. Uh, but the wing stack and the wing slot are definitely ones that I'm using quite a bit. Bunch ace, uh, ace slot, ace pair. All these are really good formations. So this is something that, to me, uh, they definitely added. Because like I said, last year it felt like it was mostly only shotgun. This year, uh, they still have a lot of those great shotgun plays but they definitely added a lot next up we got the raiders these are not in order by the way i'm just kind of rattling them off but number three uh is going to be the raiders playbook now once again really diverse some really strong running formations i mean they have all these i form formations uh you know you can run out of just about any of them that's probably as many as any playbook in the game has and then you go down to the bottom they also have four strong formations so like i said overpowered uh run playbook probably one of the best uh they also have a really strong shotgun selection and single back selection but i mean it's pretty much the same playbook and you're pretty much going to get the same results an overpowered playbook next up we got a new addition to this year's top five and that's the uh the steelers this is a playbook that i know a lot of people have been asking me to get in on uh for the last couple seasons and i'm definitely in on it this year a big reason for that is a lot of the uh the stuff that i'm finding that works really well this year out of the wing stack and the wing slots uh which they actually have in the single back and then they also have in the shotguns they have some some wing stack wing slot looks um and then they have like your standard tree Trios, trays, uh, you know, bunch formations, empty bunch, uh, which is always one of my favorite. Uh, I love the empty formations. They have a lot. I mean, you got the empty tray stack. Once again, like I said, the tray stacks already made videos about these. Uh, and then you got your regular shotgun bunches. I mean, they're, they're very high powered passing playbook. Lots of shotgun stuff. That's typically what I like to use. Uh, and then when I like to run, I typically like to run out of either single back, which they have a lot of stuff, and uh, the, and the I forms. So they have a decent I form selection. My biggest complaint, they'd be higher on the list if they had more I forms because I think that's still one of the better things to run out of uh, but ultimately some pretty good uh it's pretty good stuff and then you also got a wildcat at the bottom for people like to run stuff like that Next up, we got the Bengals. Now, this is one of the most slept-on playbooks. Last year, it was one of the first free uh, full breakdown books that I put out. And I really, I just, like I said, the Bengals are just slept on. It's not a popular team, but they have one of the best books. And it's really simplistic. You don't have a ton of formations. Uh, you really just have shotgun and single back. And you see you only got really one eye form. I don't really feel like eye forms might be the way this year. It really feels like spreading people out and running inside zones is the way. And they have a lot of really good shotgun formations. The bunch offset gives you pretty much 
everything you need out of a bunch set. Uh, like I said, I mean, the empty formations are pretty solid. They have stack formations out of the gun. Like I said, I really like that. Tight doubles, tight flex. Uh, you know, you really have all you need there. Then you got your tray sets. Go down to the single back, and the single back's probably where it's at for them. They have one of the best single back sets in the entire game. Ace, ace close, ace pair, bunch, deuce close, uh, dice slot, doubles south. I use all those. The, t the tight Y off, the tray, the wing flex close. There's not a bad formation here. The wing slot, the wing tight, the wide trips. I mean, every single back formation is a solid formation. And this was one of my best playbooks last year, and people just slept on it back then. So had to put it in the video because, like I said, to me, every single back formation is solid, and the majority of the shotgun ones are too. Next up, we got the defensive playbooks. Now, when it comes to defensive playbooks, I really look for diversity. The Cardinals is a playbook that definitely has some very good diversity. I mean, the three fours, they have, you know, five different ones of those. Uh, definitely some solid ones like the under, the the, uh, the over, the even. Uh, I use a lot of plays out of all those. The bear uh, is definitely a solid one. Uh, then you got your four four split, which I'm still a big believer in. I still think it's one of the better run stopping defenses uh, a lot. I used it a lot last year. It's still pretty, pretty solid this year. Uh, the one four six done. You have your Sugar Week, which is a pretty interesting looking formation uh, that came out last year uh, that wasn't necessarily used very much last year, but uh, it's been in the game since last year as far as the live playbooks go. Then you have the 245 double A gap. You have your 245 odd, your nickel normal. Uh, this is a very, very diverse playbook. Next up, we got the Browns. Now, this is a playbook that, once again, some very interesting looks. You got your four threes. I really like the over plus and the wide nine. Those are two of my more favorite. Then you also got a 46 bear, which a lot of people like. Very good alignment. Five. 2 also good run stopping into your run stopping defense get to your dime normal get to your dime rush uh, these are solid formations they look pretty similar ultimately I mean I do like having the, the amount of DBs on the field that those formations have the dollar sugar another good formations I've been talking about quite a bit then you have your nickel double a gap your nickel normal and your nickel wide nine this is probably where it lacks the most is in the nickels or else it would be higher on this list Next up, we got the Kansas City Chiefs. This is one of my personal favorite playbooks. There's some very, very unique uh, defensive formations in here. You got plenty of run defensive formation between the 3 4 and the 4 3, including the, the, the even 6 1, which I'm still kind of playing around with. The, the normal, the over plus, the under, all those are solid. Then, it, where they really shine is the pass defensive formations. The big nickel over G, once again, kind of rare this year, still one of the best in the game. Uh, the dime normal, which is one of the, the better, um, in my opinion, I, I like the dime normal. Some really good plays that I a lot of speed on the field. The dollar three two six, obviously. When have you seen the dollar and the dollar and the dime in the same playbook? That's rare. Typically, the dollars a a four a three four play formation where the dime is a four three formation. So you don't typically see those together. And then the cap it all off. You got your three three five nickel, which is one of the most popular formations in the game year after year. So this is a very unique playbook. Next up, we got the Niners. This is a, a playbook that was kind of sneakily one of my favorite last year. I mean, they have a, a four three base uh, with the wide nine, one of my favorite. Formations. They also, I think, I don't think they had this last year, but it looks like they added the 46 bear. I don't remember the 5 2 normal necessarily being in it either, but when you have, once again, these three beefy formations, all of them good run stopping formations, that's a really solid set. Then you get to the dime, you got your dime normal, your your dollar 326. Uh, they lack a little bit in the pass defense department after those two formations. Uh, the double A gap is still somewhat, uh, you know, a work in progress, but ultimately, I mean, they have all the run stopping formations you need and then a pretty decent uh, pass defense as well. Next up, we got the Buccaneers. I feel like uh, EA's, uh, this is one of EA's darlings, the, the NFL darling Buccaneers because Tom Brady's there, but the defense is pretty, looking pretty good. 4-3-4 uh, th four, four formations, all of them solid. Uh, the 4-4 four, four split, one of the better run-stopping formations. Then you got your dime, 1-4-6, your 2-3-6. Uh, moving down, you got some pretty good nickel formations as well. Your double A gap, your odd, uh, which is kind of a newer formation. The 3-3-5, three, three, uh, which is still, you know, one of my favorite formations. And then you have, you know, pretty much everything you need for running, stopping the run and stuff in the past so that's it that's the vid uh if you guys want to see more videos like this hit the like button let me know in the comment section i try to put them out every year at the start of the game uh so show me some love and i'll show it back other than that thanks for watching man money shout out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below